Welcome to another silly <laughs> yeah, really. news and nonsense report. That's the Sunday night news and nonsense, the center report. What number are we on? Total? Uh, a dozen yeah. eggs. Well, a dozen. No, there's no eggs in this show. But yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. a rotten egg. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I lost count on how many of these we did. We just hit Zoo Crew 14. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of animals. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, and that was a and that was a uh that was a center report too, except that one occurred on Saturday night, so. Yeah, it was an un <laughs> I, I guess that was the unofficial center 12, which was good. It was actually pretty funny. I got a chance to listen to the whole thing and thanks for the crickets. I really appreciate it, but uh Hey, I told you to be careful what you wish for. You I might know. just get it. <laughs> Have to admit it was pretty funny. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. But uh, anyway, this is Sunday Night News and Nonsense Report number twelve. Thank you, Spatchy, for joining me on every single yeah. one of them. It's been cool. Yeah. All right. Fine. So yes. So do you want to get started with one or do uh, I? Absolutely. Dell is to sell Ubuntu PCs at retail outlets in India. Dell will sell Ubuntu preloaded PCs in 850 retail outlets wow. in India. That's a lot. In India, Ubuntu will also get brand recognition as the retail outlets will display Ubuntu branded marketing collateral in store with trained staff explaining the advantages of, of Ubuntu to consumers. So you come into my store, you buy the Ubuntu, you take it home, okay? Yes, and you can buy it for just 500 llamas. I mean, no, no. 750 drachmas for you, my friend. When it break, you come back to the store and buy another one. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> That's, well, good, goody two shoes for Dell. So there you go. Yeah. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Dell in India. Oh, that's right. They got. They they have to have. They have to have a, have one of those guys. You know, a little stoned and doing the commercials over there. Yes. <laughs> but oh, how did yes. how, how did they say that in India? I. You get Dell in India. I, I'm not sure how the foreign translation works, but uh, I'm I'm sure Dell will be <laughs> just fine with the llamas, not llamas. Drunk. Why am I keep saying llamas? I don't know. It's drachmas. I mean, yeah. I'm not even sure if drachmas are their currency over there. I'm not even sure that. It, anyway, folks, it's Indian money. So whatever it is, I'm sure one <laughs> of you kind listeners will be kind enough to correct Spatry. <laughs> oh, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, speaking of foreign, uh, foreign marketing, uh, you remember last month I made a little joke that, you know, of course, Microsoft was banned in Germany, right? And yeah. And yep. when it okay, so you remember. Well, some of the listeners probably do too, but and and then I cracked the joke. Like it was something like, would it would Microsoft had made news if Microsoft was banned in Bangladesh, right? You remember uh -huh. that? Okay. Well, I have yeah. something. Nothing about Microsoft, but on a similar vein, uh, Skype is banned in Ethiopia. <laughs> Uh, you, you can get, I know, it's like, you mean like it isn't like uh, Russia or, you know, uh, the Ukraine? No, it's, it's for some reason, they do not like, you know, VoIP, you know, voice over internet protocol. Yes, and, I do recall seeing something like that. That, 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 was, that was Ethiopia? Really? And, and that's what it says. And apparently you can get up to <laughs> 15 years in jail for using poor little Skype. Yeah, oh. that's I'm reading it now because I, I don't know, it's it's. But child um, pornography is probably legal in that. Country. Uh boy. <laughs> uh, well, duh. Uh, all I'm saying is I am I now have to cancel my vacation plans over there. Sorry, <laughs> Ethiopia. If I can if if I can't phone home, I can't go there. So shame on you. Yes. <laughs> You're from Ethiopia. I didn't think so. No, but they have nice, <laughs> nice beaches, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, what else do you have? <laughs> well, Linux Mint presents the Mint Box. Yes. Now, Linux Mint, in collaboration with CompuLab, is proud to announce uh, the immediate availability for purchase of a mini PC called the Mint Box. The Mint Box is powered by a custom version of Linux Mint 12 with Mate 1.2 desktop environment and the XBMC Media Center. 
Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon is also supported with full 3D desktop effects. Nice. Now I'm looking at a uh, I'm looking at a picture of this. They have a standard case and a ribbed case, and this actually looks like a um, this looks like a wireless gateway you would have at home minus the antenna. Yes, I have seen it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's relatively small. And uh, there's, they have an image of this uh, with a keyboard hooked up to it. And, oh, it looks like there is an antenna on this thing. Ah. So, but you get a dual head display, HDMI plus display dis support, digital 7.1 mm -hmm. and analog 2.0 audio, both inputs and outputs, gigabit and ethernet. Yes. It's got a uh, Wi-Fi plus BT combo with dual antennas. Yes. Uh, Two USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports, two eSATA ports, a bay for a uh, 2.5 SATA hard drive, two mini mm. PCI sockets, yes, and a serial um, RS-232 port. This is really interesting, and I mean, this device mm -hmm. is small. They've got it's, it. It's yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing. Prices start from. Uh, four hundred seventy-six dollars plus shipping. Right. Duty and VAT for basic edition and five forty-nine yes. plus right. shipping yes. for the professional edition. Wow. I actually caught this uh, right when it first came out last week, and just to let our yeah. listeners, just to let our listeners know, I we are recording this Monday night, so it's Minner Report, I guess, if you want to call that. But yeah, I I call it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, enough. But. Uh, no, I, I posted a short video on the announcement, and I thought it was cool. I, th I think many of the comments thought it was cool, but the price they seem was not really, you know, not quite there. Uh, they didn't really care for the price, I guess, to be blunt about it. But uh, I think it's cool that Linux is trying to go more mainstream, whether it's Linux Mint or whatever. But the price kind of turn off, turned off the viewers. So how do you see it? Well, the thing is, the the sheer size of the thing, you know. I mean, it's 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 very small, and um, it's compact. Yes. So I mean, you know, and you got to figure, you know, when you, you know, when you have all these electronic components, yes. You know, these 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 obviously cost money to make. Yes. And um, from from the specifications I was reading, uh, reading out loud, um, I think this is a fair price for the unit. To be honest with you. Okay. No, that's how I, I really, see it. Okay, know. I mean, I don't really have, you know, any kind of thinking one way or the other. It's just something I would not buy now because because I'm on a budget and I, and I already have a new computer from last year. But, you know, for yeah. someone who wants to see what the future holds for a Linux-based mm -hmm. PC where everything will work, including, I'm assuming, yeah. video drivers, there you go. So. I don't think... <laughs> well... <laughs> Here's what I would suggest. Rather than getting it right while it's hot and it's brand new, wait about a year and see if the prices come down on them. And that's uh, sort of thing. you know, um, you okay. Know, you know, you know, it it's just it's just like it's just like when you know it's just like when uh, you remember when DVDs came out, right? Yes. When, yeah, when the DVD standard came out, you know, remember how expensive those units were, and then a few yes. years later, all of a sudden, they got yes. a lot cheaper. Yes. Yeah, I think I think this is this is just one of them things. These things are eventually going to drop down in price. And as a matter of fact, I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised if uh, computers eventually get priced at disposable pricing. You know, okay, literally, literally to where you know you go out and you buy a unit right. that you know is only going to last for about a year or so. Yeah, you know, and uh, so I mean, you know. Yes, you know, and Fair it enough. wouldn't surprise yeah. me. Yeah, it wouldn't okay. surprise me if we see more and more technologies being uh, sent uh, at disposable prices. Now, you said you have something funny about I have Dennis something Travals. This I have to hear. Farther, uh, because we we talked about <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, we talked about him briefly. Sorry, now he won the Millennium Technology Prize. You know, on the and fishing, your supply of rice Ricerone on the fishing with dynamite. <laughs> By the way, um, I meant to say something, Sarah. As a disclaimer to all the listeners, we don't actually recommend you fish with dynamite, uh, as if it needs to be said, but. 
you know, not only is it illegal, it's pretty stupid. I prefer debt sergeants, <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. But uh, it's it's a term. <laughs> you just <laughs> the words right out of my mouth. That Thank you. Go fishing with depth charges. Yeah, even though it's more effective, uh, still not a good idea. But uh, fishing with dynamite is, is a term I coined many, many years ago. And we spoke about this before. You know, my friends would go out fishing. I had no patience to fish. And I said, you guys are all stupid. I prefer fishing with dynamite. And that's where the term came <laughs> Now, well, I mean, if you if you really want to get super effective, you could go you could go uh, fishing with nukes. <laughs> you could cook it at the same. You could catch it and cook the fish at the same <laughs> you time. Yes, catch, cook it at the same time as well. Great, glow in the dark sushi. Sushi. <laughs> thank you. Uh, let's not so, say, oh, dark, right, okay. so you don't have to. No, I will not buy. No. Okay. Where was I? Yes, about Linus or Linus. Um, he gave. Oh, oh no, I think I see. I see what you're talking about. All right. Well, he gave a question and answer session in Finland at a university or some kind of sim sim symposium center. You know. Anyway, he was asked a question about of all things video drivers. Die. And uh, there was talk. <laughs> there was talk about Nvidia. I'm like. I'm looking at this. I'm looking okay, at Okay, so this. a nice young lady student, I think, asked a question, and he, he very politely says, well, that's the exception, not the rule. But as far as NVIDIA goes, and he points to the camera, and he, give, and he gives the universal Linux love sign, which is the figure. No, I'm just kidding. But he gives the finger, and he tells <laughs> NVIDIA to, uh, how, shall I, how shall I say it? Take a hike, but not that charming. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I don't know about you, but yeah, I, I got, I've got this, I've got this, uh, this animated GIF of Linus talking, and it's playing in a loop here, <laughs> and is, um, he's giving the uh, "I love you" symbol with his finger. <laughs> it's the universal Linux love sign. Yes, I'm sure that's it's what it'll universal be. Universal sign when you're telling somebody I don't like you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Basically, what he's saying here, yeah, I got you fishing with dynamite right here, but no. So, so in other words, read between the lines. Yes, and um, <laughs> yes, I'm sure people now will Google it all over the world, but I just think that because Linus is not, he's usually a quiet, mild-mannered, you know, gentleman, doesn't get ruffled, and I did not see that coming. I mean, he answered the question, very polite, and then, bam, stick this, <laughs> you know, stick this up your kernel or something, you know. <laughs> well, I can imagine that NVIDIA's sales are probably going to drop a little bit after that, especially on the Linux platform, oh, for those boy, yeah. die hard Turval fans out there. <laughs> by the way, uh, Mr. Turvals, if you're listening, you know that prize you won? You know that Prize that he won, he had to share with Mr. Yamanaka for the, you know, yes. for the Millennium. Uh, Linus, if you're listening, uh, I hate to tell you this, but that prize is sponsored by NVIDIA. So uh, you'll have to, baby. Is you know. it? No, it's not. I'm just kidding. I have no. oh, Wouldn't that be funny if it was? <laughs> oh, holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, I didn't mean it, I swear. It was a joke. <laughs> it was all green screen. It wasn't my finger. <laughs> anyway, that's that's, that's like uh, yeah. you know you know that's like somebody inviting you, inviting you to a five star exquisite fine dining restaurant, and after the meal you tell the host the meal was horrible. <laughs> and on that note, but a. <laughs> I just think it's Where did funny. you get this dog food? Yes. After enjoying a nice quiet evening with uh, nuked sushi. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was the nonsense part of the show. I just, I, and I'm sure it, it'll get worldwide attention for at least another hour or so anyway, but no. Uh, actually, right underneath this article, um, uh, uh, it has the uh, talk with Linus Travals and uh, on YouTube, and I'm actually going to mark this watch for later because, yeah, I definitely want any any videos that Travals is yeah. in. I always like to watch yeah. because you know he, you know he's very informative. Yes, uh, I loved his talk on Git. That was really good. Okay. Um, 
usually though he does not like to give a presentation he likes to just answer people's questions yes and, uh, he, he likes that a lot more and it, it's just really interesting to watch him interact with people you know they ask him questions and and uh, he, he comes up with some really good answers and you know he's a joy to watch so yeah yes. I yeah, and he looks like he got dressed up for this one. He's got a, you know, dress yeah, shirt. Yeah, very mild-mannered, polite, dressed up. Uh, <laughs> that's why that just comes out of it, nowhere. I love you, single, Signal. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, usually, usually, uh, usually, uh, uh, there have been times when I, I would uh, turn, you know, I would say, can you hear this? Let mm. me turn it up. Yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> well, you watch. That's going to be a new Linux poster coming out with Linus and his um, hello sign. Yes. <laughs> exactly. And uh, and if you do watch the video, it is on YouTube. It is Alto Talk with Linus Turvalls. Um, it is around around the forty eight minute marker. Yes, and I, yes, around so fast forward to the and I believe it was held in Finland, if I'm not mistaken. Parents, yeah. Please don't let your kids watch that part of the video. Thank you. Uh, they may have given him the inspiration. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the last part of the show. We we talked about this briefly. I will be well. We will be hosting a Tosscast special podcast, newbies Tosscast. I think that's what it will be called. So. I, I get a lot of requests, well, some requests at least. Hey, I would love to be on the show, this, this, and that. So it will be a newbies podcast special. Now, newbies, I mean at least six months to a year. Now, the reason I say that is when you talk on the show, you will not be totally lost with some terms and stuff like that. So we will be hosting it together. And maybe some other show hosts, mm -hmm. you never know. But I'm, I'm thinking to have at the maximum four new guests on and only four because then everybody gets a chance to you know talk and to rant or whatever they would like to do the deadline is as of this recording is friday june 22nd i may extend it i don't know there's re there's really no rush for this uh so i may extend it another week but right now it is june i will try to get this uploaded as soon as i can but it's friday june 22nd is the deadline you would just send me personal message or a comment uh, basically you know why you would want to be on the show what are you dual booting or in some cases I guess triple booting why not why do you do that is it better or worse is it a, is it a, a hobby and of mm -hmm. course your name and are you still doing it and for how long and I'm just gonna pick them at random uh, if you do get picked the ground rules are absolutely no foul language zero none whatsoever uh, joking is okay like we do. Uh, you must have, uh, we either do it on Skype or Mumble, and of course you must have some kind of microphone headset. If you're shy, that's okay. Me and Spatry can talk for all of us. Well, at least Spatry anyway, but uh, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would go with the recommendation that uh, we do this on Mumble. That way for those people that are shy or just want to participate as they're listening on IRC, you're more than welcome to do so that way. So this okay. opens it up so that everybody can participate on IRC, but we will be selecting a few people to actually join in on the conversation. And for those who do not, uh, who, you know, who are a little shy and don't wish to speak on the microphone, you do not have to. But you're more than welcome to type in your comments on IRC. Okay. okay. And uh, I will monitor all the communications and okay. I will read people's comments. I think that's the best way to do it rather than doing it on Skype. Right. And uh, we, you know, and for those of you who um, who are listening to the Tosscast podcasts. Uh, if you want to hear how these shows are done, you're more than welcome to visit my channel. I'm Linux Spatry on YouTube. And uh, just visit the News and Nonsense section. And in, in my section there, I have the Linux Zoo Crew podcasts. And it'll give you an idea of how we do this because I always have guests on my show every Saturday night. And so um, yep. this will give you an idea. And so this will be the total OS today. A toss casts, podcasts, mm -hmm. beginners discussion. So I highly encourage uh, everybody to uh, send in their uh, requests to yes. join us, and we will we will randomly select a few people. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, we do. We do. We, yes, we do take requests, both 
uh, you know, Spatria and I, and of course, we try to honor some requests at least when we have time. Of course, we we both have uh, normal lives, you know, if you want to call it that. But you know, this 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 is just an idea an idea that's been gelling for the last you know six months or so. How could I be on the show? This and that. And mm -hmm. I thought, if you are a newbie or something close to a newbie, let's make it a newbie's toss cast. Tell us your experiences and share what you like and don't like. And maybe somebody else, some other newbie, may, may, may learn something. So Exactly. And when we share this knowledge with everyone, everybody benefits. And, uh, you know, that, that's the spirit of uh, what, this, what Linux and, and uh, free and yes. open source is all about. Yes. Well, we all get together and we share our ideas, we share our knowledge and skills so that somebody else can uh, benefit from that sharing. And exactly. uh, I can't sing the community enough praises. I mean, you have people that are participating um, on forums that are giving answers. And then you have uh, people on IRC that are helping one another. Yes. And then, of course, you have show hosts like us that are, you know, sharing that knowledge. Yes. And I, I've learned over time, you know, the best way that I can retain the knowledge that I receive, and I'm always learning new things every day, is to share that knowledge. And so as I learn new things, you know, I'll put up tutorials, I'll put up different videos and uh, share that knowledge if I feel that somebody out there is really going to benefit from it. Right. Now, it doesn't matter if you've been a PC person most of your life. I have. But I enjoy dual booting. I just, I, it's nice to have choices, not to be locked into yeah. one or the other. But don't feel shy. If you've been a PC person 99% of your life, Windows PC, that is, that's okay. We want you to come on, feel part of the community, and hopefully, uh, hey, you, you may learn something and hopefully, most importantly, share part of your life with us. So. Exactly, and it doesn't matter what what your main operating system, whether you're running Windows, OS X, yes. or Linux. Yes. You're more than welcome to participate. Everybody Wonderful. is welcome. Yeah. Excellent. So that's the news. Um, again, the deadline for now, but I, I got a feeling it may be extended. Uh, you know, me and Spatch, we have other things, other types of things going on that we talk about in private. But it, yeah. it, more than likely, I may just extend it for another week just so everybody gets a chance to digest this in a report and know what's going on. Because for some, this, this may be the very first time that they hear it. But yeah. I, I, I think Mumble is probably the best way. And then once, once, once I'm done taking invitations, Patrick and I will get together, finalize the details, and then I will post a, an announcement video. How does that sound? Hey, that sounds like a winner to me. Spatry, terrific. Uh, I think that's all that I have. Uh, yeah, in fact, I know that's all that I have. So unless you have something else, we are ready to lock this out. You go ahead and lock us out. Thank you for listening to another fabulous Sunday night, well, Monday night news and nonsense minute re report. And once again, we do not recommend fishing with dynamite, uh, unless, of course, you can get away with it. No, no, no. I'm only joking. Do not, folks. Do not. Well, shut up. Okay, you can fish with a razor. That's safe. You can shave and fish at the same time. I don't have a problem with that. But if you drop your razor in the ocean like you would a cell phone, we are not responsible. Okay? Thank you. And Spatry, we are done. Goodbye. Hey.